Hey guys, we're here at another day on Main Street to bring you perspective on the beat. Hey guys, we're here with Alex Liu, who's part of Perspective. Hi, Alex. How are you? Hey, Nicholas, good. I'm doing well. Uh, you just came out of your screening for uh, Sea Drift. Right. And uh, it was a packed house, I heard. Yeah, surprisingly. First impressions of being in Park City, because this is your first time, right? Yeah, this is my first time. Uh, it's not as cold as I thought. But <laughs> being from LA, you know, you kind of like over cold. prepare. I mean, but, yeah. Our breath. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just really struck by how everybody is so friendly and receptive and you know just kind of meeting people on the shuttle on the airport shuttle I met people that like knew people in LA and you're like oh this is a small world so exactly. just really um, touched by all the connections and all the sense of community here and then you can meet people quickly too right yeah like absolutely just everybody's like in part of the business so I'm, cool. uh, I was telling Christy yesterday that uh, I met somebody uh, just at the coffee shop and it yeah. was like pretty Pretty awesome. The film was well received. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think so. We had a good Q and A, and the audience seemed interested in the subject. But uh, yeah, overall, it's just a great experience. And I'm also, you know, staying with my team. We all rented a house together. So, uh, and part of most of the team members I have never met because they're like in Texas. Uh, but it was just a great to know, you know, get to know the editor, the cinematographer, right. and just have. Uh, a conversation about the work we've been doing for so long because the film's been going on for six years. Six years, um, and I haven't been part of it the whole time necessarily. Wow. But oh well, yeah, uh, it is you know, a documentary. With the documentary, right? yeah. you know, and sort of uh, having the subject there to to talk to um, it's just a really ex cool experience I, I haven't had. It's rare to kind of get everybody in the same house. I know. You know what I mean? Any tips for prospective members that want to plan to come to Park City in the future? Um, I would say just <laughs> dress warm. Number one. Um, Go see other films. Uh, I haven't been able to do that yet, but today, I, you know, this afternoon, I've booked a bunch of films. We go see your film. Oh yes, um, tonight so, at seven fifteen. Yeah, so I think you know that I'm definitely going to try to do that for sure. Awesome. All right. On that note, um, I think we want to thank Alex for joining us today. Thanks, Thanks for and chatting. So awesome. Signing off. All right. Till next time. Thanks. Let's attend a Sundance Composer Panel sponsored by White Bear PR. Our panel scoring for Sundance. Next to her is Ennis Rokoff, Colin Morgan, Kyle Dixon, and Garth Stevenson. How is the festival going for you guys? Are you having a good time? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like so many directors like to work with the same composer or a DP or something over and over again because you find how to express yourself. I'm like, oh, that's my sad means something sad. This is totally different than somebody else's sad. And just just finding that out and, and, and just like being able to work with people that trust you, that you can kind of take some risks. How you have created kind of a language between you two and how that works? Yes, I mean, um, the movie I'm here with is The Sun at Night, um, directed by David Zanet. Amplify them in a way, but just not not get in the way too much. Like it's, it's, It sits in the background for most of, most of the film. There's a few cues that are kind of big, but what we discussed from a creative point of view of what kind of sounds we would have for it. It was, I do a lot of electronic stuff, so it was really nice for this, where I used a melodica for one of the characters, and for the other character, it was piano, but the piano was way too sweet. So I ended up miking it up next to kind of the felts of it and sticking through a vocoder for half of it. And it was this really then twisted sound where it wasn't typical piano, but it was a really weird piano, playing against the melodica, and it was just the use of instruments for the same like the characters. My name is Chandler Poling. Uh, I am a publicist and co-founder of White Bear PR. We represent film composers, music supervisors, record labels, and, and a lot of, of stuff to do with film music, or music and film, TV, and video games. When should we uh, hire you? Since we're here at Sundance slash Slamdance, um, you should basically call us as soon as you know that you have a film in the festival. <laughs> I mean, because the, the sooner we know, the sooner we can kind of get started coordinating with the film publicists, making sure the composer's incorporated, stuff like that. So Wonderful. other than that, if you have a big release coming up, um, uh, we like a three-month lead time. For people who have never been to Slamdance or Sundance, mm -hmm. or just Park City in general, um, what are top three things you recommend for them to well, have? 
I get, and to do? Yeah, sure. Uh, get used to being winded the whole time because yes. we're so high that <laughs> we just climbed one set of stairs and we were out of breath. Especially so, slam dance because it's all the way up the yeah, top. Yeah, I know, I know. You're going up and down Main Street constantly, back and forth. So just just be prepared to be exhausted and winded. To, I'm sure a lot of people say prepare for the winter. Yes. Don't fool around. Get snow boots. <laughs> Don't, don't come in just like tennis shoes. You're going to be miserable. And three, just uh, make sure you bring business cards or bring a way to be in contact with people because you're going to be meeting people on the street, on the bus, in the restaurant, everywhere. So it's important to have that at the ready so that you can connect with people. So Chandler, thank you so much. Oh, you're so well. I have with me two composers new to Park City. Yep, yep. that's correct. First Sundance, time. right? Yeah, first time. first time. Katya Richardson. Logan Nelson. Yeah, it's great to see you guys. What are your first impressions of being at this wonderful festival, Sundance? It's been exhausting so far, lots of walking. Um, Very make sure cold. to wear your snow boots, yeah. <laughs> Very cold, yeah, bring snow boots, lots of layers, like more than two. It's been great. We, we're, we're alumni of USC, and so um, there's a great community of USC people out here. Um, we went to like, the USC party yesterday and hung out with those guys, talked to people at all these lounges, and um, everybody's really open to sharing what's going on and inviting you for sure, so I, I find it not too difficult. Uh, have you pulled out the, do you need a composer card? Uh, <laughs> I painted out a few cards. It's usually a little bit more subtle than that. Like, yeah. I try to go for more genuine connections, or just like, if I see someone with a cool hat, or like a shirt, or like, USC person, I just approach them. And, Awesome. Kind of find common ground. Uh, any other tips or advice for newbies that want to maybe come here next year um, that you maybe learned that you didn't know before? I think the biggest thing is transportation, like getting familiar with where all the venues are, um, getting to know how much your body can take in terms of walking and just like yeah. um, know when to eat, pack, pack sandwiches. Lunches. Yeah, lunches. that helps us a yeah. lot so we don't have to worry about trying to find food that could be expensive around here. Definitely. Save money, right? Yeah. Yes. Although a lot of events do have snacks or coffee That's for true. free, which yeah. is kind of nice as well. Um, and then transportation, like knowing where the buses go, like there are different color buses that go to different venues, so just right. being familiar with the map. I would say any musty things composers need to do while they're here? Oh man, well just like see films for sure, like a lot of people come out here and don't see films even and I don't know, I'm, I'm excited to see a lot more films here because they're just so amazing and getting a lot of good Yeah, I think press. it's good to do a blend of networking and being here for what you love, which is essentially film. films. Right. Stories, right. But there's yeah, also so many yeah. good like composer events, ASCAP and BMI have great events. White Bear had this panel we were just at which was amazing. Um, and there's so many composers out here that it's a great community to be a part of. Yeah, sure. just be in contact with people you know, um, make good circles of people. And yeah, yeah, everyone's friendly. Sundance just meet together. people. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, thank you guys for thank uh, thank you so much. taking the time. Thank you. Thank you. Slam Dance. Hi, I'm Gavin Gamboa, film composer and video artist. Is this your first time in Park City in Slam Dance? Yes. My first time too. Tell us your first impressions. So I just love the intimate feeling and the sense of community that Slam Dance offers. Yeah, there's a certain energy here. Um, for me, being a first time film festival goer, uh, there's a real sense of craftsmanship. People here just seem extremely dedicated to what they're doing. There's a wide variety of cinema on display, so it's really exciting to get a snapshot, global snapshot, really. Tell us a little more about uh, here. Sorry. Uh, 15 minutes satire on um, a girl who's, who's having problems accepting herself and, and loving herself. Could you describe uh, your working relationship and how you collaborated on the film? Our approach and relationship in the filmmaking process was very hands-off for me because I'm sort of left to my own devices creating soundscapes and different styles of musical genre. But Maha expertly took specific areas of music or sound design that I had created and matched it to places where it helps the story function. The way you're layering different compositions of mine, it's, it's, it almost becomes like a new creation. Can you give us three pieces of advice for people coming to Park City maybe in the following year? 
It's very cold, so stay warm. I guess it would be my first That's advice. That's number one answer. Plan ahead. Don't just anticipate being able to show up last minute without sorting out where you'll be staying because this is the busiest time of year for Park City. Don't forget to have fun, like don't stress out. And I think that's one thing that Slamdance is great at because other festivals have a lot of options happening at the same time that you just like go crazy trying to pick the films, but over here they focus on narrowing down the, the program. And yeah, just like have fun, enjoy the screenings. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. I am on Main Street, about to go to my last event of Sundance 2019. Um, I was so confident about my itinerary yesterday. It didn't happen, or two days ago when I was with Nick. Itinerary hasn't happened. Um, literally bumping into people on the street leads to a conversation, leads to an invitation to an event, leads to you remembering, oh, I was I, I RSVP'd for this thing the other day and I need to get going now if I'm going to make it on time. Oh, now this other thing. Um, I basically have only seen one film the entire time I've been here and I'm, it was the one that I really didn't want to miss, so that's good. But um, So many things of my itinerary were supplanted with other things that I got invited to or remembered I RSVP'd for. So it's been very much like just on the fly type of thing. Uh, but it has been all about relationships, meeting people, uh, connecting with people, leaving a comment on someone's Instagram. Oh, you're at Sundance too. Oh, meet me here at this time. Let's talk. So it's been very eye-opening that just having a curious, happy, fun attitude of being at the festival for the first time has led to a lot of really great conversations, information being exchanged, and potential to work together in the future. So I've really enjoyed this experience. I've been cold, I've waited in a lot of lines, but it is pretty fantastic to be here, and I've met so many wonderful people, and I'm really looking forward to come back next year. The BMI Roundtable, uh, we got to see a panel of composers and directors who all have a movie here at Sundance in competition. Learned a lot from that and got to connect with all of my fellow 2018 Sundance Composer Lab uh, people that I hadn't seen in a while. So all in all, pretty fantastic couple of days here at Sundance. And I hope that uh, our experiences can help you when you decide to come. Okay, signing off for now. Bye.